John, how, how do you view the, the, the center position right now with, with, with Morgan out of the lineup? Obviously, I know you rely on guys like Couturier and, and Paley and Lawton for, for defensive responsibilities, but do you need to see more offense from, yes. from that group? How do, you, how, do you, how do you, I guess, how do you how do you hope to generate that? Is it guys just have to do more? Keep, keep putting them in spots and hopefully we get some plays and uh, gain some confidence. Uh, yeah, it. It's a it's a position in our team that needs to be better. Are they at least are you at least pleased with the way they're handling the defensive responsibility? Oh yeah, I guess? yeah. We're, we're like even last night the, the the amount of shots, especially the first half of the game, um, the responsibilities away from the puck that's improved. Our structures improved there, but we're just not. I, I just don't think we develop enough. And we keep on trying. Um, you've mentioned, and, and it seems like you know. Tyson Forrest in particular seems like he's starting to get going a bit, especially offensively. But you've mentioned the fact that you, you guys need more from from some of the, the the big wingers on the team. But kind of going back to Kevin's question, you know, does the center weakness does that impact the players sure. too? Sure. To sure. Yeah, the center rice position is a, uh, and I'm 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 not laying blame on. It's not it's not a blame game. It's we need we need more. We need more playmaking. Uh, uh, distributing, uh, yeah, we, we need to be better. And, and it's not, we're, we're not going out signing free, it, no one's given up a, a, free, a top free agent center. It's, it, it has to happen within. I think our centers are trying. I, I, I think the effort is there. Uh, I think our wingers are trying. Uh, we, I think we're beginning to ve develop more. I think we've played better in the blue uh, underneath the hash and around the goal. I think that has improved in our game. But when there's plays to be made and they're there, we, we just, I don't think we're developing enough off of that. I don't think it's a high percentage of plays being made. Speaking of centers, with Noah Keith, what made you decide maybe to put him with Mikov and, and the starters? And how do you think he did in great, maybe embracing that spot? Well, the, the first thing I'm thinking is he, that he's going to be the low guy. Uh, Richie and Mish, they're still learning uh, away from the puck, uh, especially Mish. I, I think Richie knows knows the game, but like I told you and I've told him, I, I'm more concerned about the other part of it. Adding, putting Catesy there, and I thought Catesy's been skating really well. He, he's, he's, he's played well, hasn't finished, uh, has chances to make plays, as we just talked about, and sometimes we don't get it done there, but He's done a really good job as far as holding on to pucks. I think he's improved there in sustaining offense by holding on to pucks instead of just throwing it in or throwing it away. Uh, so him holding on to pucks, certainly down in our end zone with those two guys helping out. And he can skate with them. I, 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 it, it was put together basically, it was kind of a fallout from the other two lines. I, I felt I had two lines going with Bobby Lotz and Beezer. And Coots's line, and then we put those guys together, and I thought it hit. Uh, been a little inconsistent. Uh, uh, I thought it was. I thought it was inconsistent last night. We switched the wingers last night, and I thought it helped. What I do tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens. Would you, ever try Morgan on, would you ever try Morgan on the wing? Morgan Frost on the wing. I have enough wings. Noah, and I, I apologize, I didn't see him two years ago, but yeah. it sounds like it's he's kind of showing what he showed two years ago, not last year. Ye yeah, I don't, I don't remember two years ago. Uh, I, I remember two years, he was one of our top centers, because like, we just, that's where we were. And, uh, I, and I still hold hope that I think he's going to bring some offense. He ends up with chances. Um, and we were talking about this two years ago because he was doing so many good things so quickly as a, as a young pro away from the puck, which is the hardest part. Uh, so uh, we're, we're just, uh, and I'm not complaining about the center ice position. It's just that's where we're at right now. And that's why we're drafting centers. Uh, I, I, we're just, we're going to go through the process. To answer your question with Morgan, uh, Frosty is, he's going to wait his turn because he's probably the most talented one out of anyone we have. He's going to wait his turn and I hope he shows up when he gets back in. I, I, and it's a, it's, a, it's a kid that I have really 
I, I really like, as we, him and I have gone through that process, I cannot continue to go through the same process, process with Morgan that I've done for two years. It, like I said, it's not fair to him. It, it's just, it's, it'd be stupid to coach that way because we've done that. He's going to have to take some onus on himself here when he gets an opportunity to, to make it stick because we certainly need help in that position. With Couturier, he acknowledges he had a rough patch there at the start, Sorry. but you've kept the faith with him. And how important is that to his work outside of scoring has been pretty good. And uh, the fact that other players see that and, and sort of like take encouragement from that. From with Couturier. With Couturier. the way he's playing? Yeah, outside of the fact that he hasn't scored. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he, they're around, they're around, they're in the scoring chances, right? They, uh, TK, I think Coots is uh, two scoring chances, three helpers, five of them last night. TK's six of them. Um, tip, tip was in and out last night, I thought, but scores a big goal to ignite us. Uh, I, I think they're close. I, I think Sean, is, like I said, he's working very hard. I, remember, there was a point earlier in the year, and it, and it really came off of that discussion, where I thought Sean was going to be third, fourth line. That, that's the way he was playing, and quite honestly, some other people were playing better at that time. Uh, he's kind of grown and, and taken off and uh, still not finishing. It, 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 it's, it's hard to, it's hard. To, to keep going and stay consistent as a, an offensive team when there's not a lot of finish or distributing from the middle. Um, but I think we have good people there, and I know they're going to continue to work at it, and that's what we have to do. There are no other answers. It, it, they just have to continue to try to play and hopefully uh, get confidence. Coots has had some scoring chances, just hasn't finished. He had one game where he finished, but he's had some chances. so. That's what you have to lean on right now is that we're getting chances and hopefully something breaks for them and, uh, and they, you know, mentally it, it's, there's some confidence that grows with it. John, over the, one or two more. Over the last couple of weeks, I think, you know, we can certainly see it. You've noted that, you know, you guys have added in a bunch of things back in your game. There, there does seem to be a general upward trajectory. But then you have games like the Ottawa game. You have like the first two periods mm -hmm. last night where it kind of backslides. Mm -hmm. Is that inconsistency, like, is that just kind of the reality of having a team with as many young guys as you have, or is it something else? I, I think it's a, it's a little bit of that. It's, it's definitely some of the youth uh, uh, that, that's within us. Uh, it, it is a, uh, we play against a better team than us last night. They're, they're a better hockey club than we are. And when we, when we, when, what we have to do for us to level the playing field, we have to be right on as far as turnovers. And when we, when we turned pucks over, especially in the first half of that game, you could see the struggles we had with their speed. And, but then when we had the puck more, the second half, and especially the third period, we had it more, we, it kind of neutralizes things because we have the puck. And uh, I, we, when we play against top, like Carolina tomorrow, if, if we let them play at 130, 140 feet, it just makes for a tougher game for us, especially how banged up we are on the blue line. So I think we've got to be dead on in managing pucks because I don't think we're as skilled as other teams. Uh, we're a pretty young team. Uh, I, I really like the way... Uh, since Urs has gone out, the way the two goaltenders have played, so we can't talk about that right now because I think they've played very well. Uh, but there, there, there are some holes. We have some holes, but you can you can brush over those holes and cover it up if you play as a team. That's the most important thing we have to do. As many minutes as we can in a 60-minute hockey game is be as a team and just stay with the game plan. And that's being simple. Uh, that's being simple. That's being north. And, and really sharp at managing the puck through the neutral zone. That's a key, is, is managing the puck through the neutral zone. And I think what's helped us regain some traction is that we've been pretty consistent with a high guy. And it allows us to play on our toes. Just curious as what a film session is like after a game like that. Like, are you... Haven't had one. Okay. It'll be tomorrow. Are you, are you going to maybe highlight more positives? Or oh, yeah. You? Yeah. Because I, 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 I think we have... Uh, uh, we've put some good minutes in. We, we put some good minutes in as, as I watch the tape now from last night. There, there were some areas where I thought we were better than I, that I thought after the game. Um, yeah, so we, 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 and we put some good minutes in there. So it, it's not about 
uh, nitpicking and, and, and mistakes. Turnovers is, is something that, that, that's one I think we can control better. I, I, it gives us a better chance to be a more competitive team. And th that's the one that I, I know I'm going to have some clips on that. But there was a lot of good stuff, too. So we want to accentuate that and just keep on getting ready to play here and, uh, and try to be the best we can be.